Hi, it's Doug Belshaw, MoodleNet lead here at Moodle. I just want to show you a demo of what we've been working on this week during a MoodleNet design sprint here in London with Outlandish. Martin Dugiamas flew in as well. So here's what we've been working on. Let's imagine that you're a teacher and you've been messing about with MoodleNet. You joined last week and you're, you're now going about your business of planning some lessons. So here you are at Google. Uh, and you're searching for teaching the Bolshevik revolution and you get your search results. Here they are. And one of them is MoodleNet. Great. Well, I already know what this is. So I'm going to go there. And since last time, uh, MoodleNet has updated its privacy policy. So you read that in depth, click I agree. And then here we are, the Bolshevik revolution. Great. Well, you can see this is a collection, a collection of resources. And it says, finally, a good collection of multimedia resources about the Russian Revolution from the workers' perspective. You can see that there's some contributors here. So it's a collection which is being made by, by people. Oh, great. I can add it to my Moodle. So I can add this to my Moodle course. Um, and I, I can also add my own resources to this collection, it looks like. So let's have a look what's in it. Uh, GCC History, the Russian Revolution. So this is um, a, a website, activehistory.co.uk, that's got some resources, interactive exercises for GCSE history. And you can see here that um, some people have commented saying that there's a bit two minutes in which really brings this to life. Great, so there's kind of conversations and, and uh, comments happening from some of my colleagues. What else is in here? Well, let's have a scroll down. Russian Revolution in 10 minutes. Oh, this is a YouTube video. Again, there's other people who are commenting on this. This is great. This is exactly what I want for my teaching. So loads of resources here. Oh, and there's related collections as well. Other things that I might find useful. This is fantastic. And this is something which the Red Group has collected. So a community has curated um, this particular collection of resources. So let's find out a bit more about the Red Group. This renegade group of historians have a shared interest in all things relating to the Russian revolutions of 1917. Well, that sounds like a lot like me. So I'm going to join this community and I can do that because this isn't one where I have to apply. I can just join and then sign up straight away. So here I am. I'm now a member of the Red Group. I can join in the discussions and I um, can start helping them curate resources. Excellent. OK, well, let's see what's going on. I'm going to go to my profile. Here we are. This is me, Jeremy. And I was added to MoodleNet by Andrea LeBlanc last week, my good friend Andrea. And I've started filling out my profile, my, my Twitter ID. I'm going to probably add my LinkedIn profile later on. And you can see I'm now a member of three communities. I'm a history teacher, so um, I'm a member of these three groups. And I've started ta adding tags or interests, things that I'm interested in, so that MoodleNet can suggest things that I might be interested in. That's exactly what I want, so I can make sure I've got good resources and good people I can lean on in my, in my teaching and learning. So now I'm going to go and just see what's been happening in the week that I since I joined MoodleNet. So here's some update. This is kind of a, a highly personalized feed of things which are useful to me. So I can see that Andrea has now also joined the Red Group. She must have seen that I, I joined it. There's new communities. Uh, people have added resources in there. Red Gens accepted my request to join that Red Group. And my MoodleNet profile is 78% complete. So what I'm going to have to do is to make sure I complete that. Um, I'm going to have a look at communities. I can also search. And here are my communities, a really educator-friendly, focused place where I can find resources and have discussions about my teaching and learning. So this prototype was built this week um, during this design sprint. And I'm really interested. All of us at Moodle are interested in finding out what you think of this. It's just a starter for 10, and we're going to iterate towards it. So tell us what you think. Get in touch. Um, and the canonical URL for everything to do with MoodleNet is moodle.com forward slash MoodleNet.